This should be the episode everybody's been typing in the comment section. Bro, you got no clue. Next episode, bro. Oh my god, the plot twist, bro. You have no idea. Now, this should be the one with Origami's past, I would think. We've seen many versions of the Origami's past where her parents just get nuked out of sight. And the interesting thing with season 3 is that she was pretty much in the distance of the explosion. The light comes down and they get blown up. But Origami is completely fine. Maybe I'm just looking too much details into things. This isn't something to worth to nitpick about. Who could it be? So, a first instinct is Phantom. Because Phantom was there in the instant where Kotori kind of went crazy, right? And we have it kind of on tape, or I think Shohei did show something about that. So, could it be just simple as Phantom that killed the parents? Why? Well, think about it. That whole event made Origami so, so, like, chasing after vengeance. She made it. It was the best thing that could have happened to Westcott because this is a prime wizard candidate. She cares nothing about anything else except Shido. I still don't know why that's the case. That hasn't been explained yet. But she's just the perfect soldier, right? So maybe if we just big brain this, who could have killed Origami's parents? Was it Westcott? Did Westcott do this purposely to groom Origami as a young child so that she could become the ultimate wizard? Another random guess other than Westcott and the Phantom is a typical anime trope of I am the monster. As in, it was actually Origami. She killed her parents. I don't know how. Did she awaken spiritual powers before? Doesn't really make sense because last episode is when she turned into a crystal after receiving what's called a Sephiroth crystal, like you, you guys said, right? But maybe this is the case of Origami went berserk, somehow killed her parents, she forgot about it, or she's trying to like block out the trauma by blaming on a different entity. And that flashback that we've seen so far is actually not the correct flashback. Could be the case, a very common anime trope. I still, the logical flaw is, what do you want me to turn? She was still human back then. She didn't even have the white line in her eye. It doesn't really make sense, right? A lot more questions with the Phantom. Bro, when the Phantom gave Origami the powers, that's some classic Seonin shit. I wouldn't have expected, you know... Well, this series does get very hyped because there's Shonen elements. Like, if you watch Naruto, One Piece, Police, all these different series I've grown up on, there's these power-up movements, moments, right? Where the main character's like monologuing, if only I had more power, and then this unknown entity shows up, do you desire that power? And it's like a power beyond anything else. I'm pretty sure Origami said like unlimited power, undefeated power. It's like such an overpowered power she desired. And then she, and she got that. Metatron, I think? It's crazy because she knows how to use all the skills and you guys said basically the Sephiroth crystal gives the user like a, a, a template. As soon as they absorb it, they know exactly what they're going to say by default. It's pretty interesting. Fun things that the light novel kind of skips over. But when I'm watching the anime, it's like, bitch, how do you know how to use all these skills? And you're going to say, did I summon an angel? Like, bitch, yeah, you did. Origami's new form, amazing. Kurumi is back, bro. Seven episodes for Kurumi to show up. Is this a rule? I, I think season one, season two, and now season three. Did she really show up in the seventh episode? What? They gotta save the best for, best for last, right? You can't have Kurumi showing up all the time or it won't be, or it won't be special. It did look like Origami kind of took apart uh, one of Kurumi's clones, but you really think Nightmare is gonna get defeated right now? I don't think so. Let's begin today's reaction though. Oh, here we go. I love this design though. Yeah, all these different kurumis were just like running around in like a trafficless night. Just running around like, oh, this is so much fun! Zafkyu manipulates time. Can we go back to the time where parents died? Uh-huh. Send the person back. Yeah, there is, right? There definitely is. Isn't that Yod Bet or a combination? I, I, I don't know, but she definitely mentioned, you know, using her powers. Yod Bet, yes. The 12th bullet, right? But why was she wasted on her? Yo, she spent three seasons to stockpile her power so she can use it. You think she's gonna waste it on you? Five years ago. I wonder if that timeline means anything to Kurumi too? This is still very admirable from Origami's perspective. If you forget all the destroying she did of innocent civilians' property last episode. A test run. A lab rat. I mean, okay. Then we're gonna actually see what happens in the- Why is she blushing? <laughs> what was that blush? <laughs> Zafkir! Oh, that was a uh, interesting Zafkir! What? Oh. Okay, we're just gonna test run, right? Obscene trying to change the world is. Because timeline-wise, like, you can't just fuck around with, like, 
the different timelines. Like, if you impact something in the past, so many things in the future get disrupted. How does that really work here? I don't know. Keep Natsumi and Yoshino sharing the bed. Interesting. Okay, going back in time. Five years ago. But she, she Kurumi said, will the gods allow it? I don't know what these entities known as gods. I'm going to assume Phantom might be kind of those things. There it is. What, what is this being? I, I don't know. That's responsible for Origami's parents' death, right? But how could that be just a plot twist? There, there's got to be more to it, right? It can't just be some random unknown entity that killed their parents. It's like, whoa, crazy plot twist. You can kind of see her hair, but it's hard to tell what it is. Well, you granted her the power. Sephiroth crystals changes a human into a spirit. But how about Toka's case, though? Toka's different, though, right? Because she was always a spirit? I don't know how that works. I just realized something. Hey, what if somehow the fan like, Origami is attacking right now, right? The phantom will make it such that the attacks are directed, see, 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 to the parents. And in fact, if we, the time loops. So future Origami killed Origami's parents in the past. So Origami herself did kill the parents. That kind of deal? Because usually with series like this, time traveling and shit like this, it's like the future self was the one that fucked everything in the past kind of deal, right? Am I cooking, guys? Am I cooking? What's your wish? But was it this thing that killed the parents? I don't know, man. I think Origami is getting played. Who was it then? I mean, position wise, they are in the sky and the light did come from the sky, right? Oh! Metatron, what are you doing? Metatron, what are you doing? That's like the beam from above. Nice armpits. And then? Shit! No way! No, no, that's a little bit different, no. The ray of light came down. The phantom kind of sounds like a lolly. It's gonna be a lolly, isn't it? Of the attack you just did. I didn't see the beam of light extending down to the ground though, right? Bye? Really? What do you, what, what do you mean? Get your ass back here. Accomplish my goal. What was your goal? Probably Kotori transferring. But wait, wait, if we look at the ground, did, did her attacks reach the ground? Are they alive? Red right below. Space quake. Did the attack! No! Who did that? That was you, wasn't it? Holy shit! No! So, Origami of the future is responsible for her own parents' death. By trying to- How does that even work like- Because this didn't happen until just now. But in the past it already happened. Because inevitably in the future Origami would want to do this by going to Kurumi to get her help. So even though in the past we couldn't see anything, it all just kind of loops together. Holy shit. That's great. That is such a tragic tale. All she wanted to do was prevent this from happening. From the future, like, so she comes from the future, she goes back to the past, tries to prevent everything, but in fact, it was her all along. Oh my god. What? Origami. So Westcott wasn't planning on making Origami into a spirit, right? I thought maybe this is part of his plan. Because this all works for him, right? It doesn't matter. Oh, also, how does she come back to the present? She got sent back to the past. Maybe you'll bet as a two-way ticket, you know, after a certain time, you go in the past, you can come to the future. Ooh. Origami? Kurumi? <laughs> that's, that's fucked up, Kurumi. You're an accomplice in this. <laughs> you helped Origami kill Origami's parents. No, it's not really her fault. Mm -hmm. Breaking characters. I like to see all sides of Kurumi. I wonder how the other Kurumi is doing from the OVA. Inversion theme! This is the inversion theme, right? 
Why is the moon turning? Is Origami being inverted? Because of the mental crisis she's in? But she's still in the past, right? Maybe she's back now. Holy shit. Judging by the attacks, it kind of seems like Origami's Metatron, but purple. Yeah, there's no space quick alarm from the inverted spirits. <laughs> Yo, everybody should be evacuated right now. Origami? Ori... Another form? What? We just had new DEM suit. Origami Metatron Angel oh, and Astro Dress and now this? Yo, show me more. A spirit is a spirit. Do you think that... <laughs> I mean, well, if it's Origami, she should be able to do it. But like, it's so funny. A spirit is still a spirit. You know, we still got to go through these different dialogue trees to, the, you know, the fucking... The, the, the games to like make her fall for him. But okay. How's he flying? I guess the wind from the Yamai twins is able to create a tunnel of wind that goes upward. Therefore, Shido can fly like that. I don't know. Oh! Wait, no, no, that's her original attack. I got it confused with uh, Shido San Malfa where it's like blue. I thought it was like Tanka's attacks for a reason. We have need of the inverse. Ellen? It's gotta be Ellen, I think. Ah, the ground's all bouncy from Natsumi, right? Yo, if you look at Ellen's hair right now, compared to the Phantom's hair that we could kind of see, it looks very similar because of the long bang that goes down like this. Damn, Origami is in first. Show me more. What? Who designed this suit? Oh my god. Hey, shut your ass up, bitch. Alright. Other spirits will keep Ellen at bay and then... Shido has to basically sneak a kiss in. But this is Origami. Even if it's inverted, does that mean she lost her memories? Like Tenka, kind of? Yeah? Probably. Not even lo losing her memories. It's a totally different person entirely. But if you're just sneaking a kiss, you think it'll work? We can't kiss you. Hydrate her. What happened? Probably from the shock and the trauma of... All the shit that just happened to Jesus been crying her eyes out. Therefore, she's all dehydrated. <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe. Not to me. I thought you were going to make the ground soft. Maybe it was. But this, look at this. It's, uh, what's, what's the word? I'm, I'm forgetting Kotori's power now, but. Kamael Slames. Yo, get a bottle of water before you do that. Hmm? It's attacking. It's attacking. Can we handle these attacks? Uh-oh. Nah, they'll be fine. In fact, if the ship gets blown up... Oh, that's a big explosion, actually. We'll get a replacement ship, right? Wait. That... Kurumi? Eh, you're here to help, right? I love how she lifts her dress like a... Like a royal intro. You're not kidnapping us right now while everything's going down, right? No, this is perfect timing, isn't it? For her. You, you couldn't be, you're supposed to help out! No, you're coming with me. Bye. No voice. What could solve this if it's not Chido? Where, where are you taking us? You'd bet? You. No, that's 12. Where you. You'd bet? in the past? Where, where'd you shoot? I don't know what's going on. What are you, what are you doing? Our oh, dude, that's our line. What the fuck? So in this current crisis, we detour with Kurumi? I'm down. But uh, how far are we going back? I mean, her plan was to... Go back to when the origin spirit attacks. So I'm gonna assume this is like 30 plus years ago, right? So she can like interface with this different timeline while not being present in this world. Oh, 25 years. Maybe Kurumi wants Shido to basically go and prevent Origami's parent, Origami from killing Origami's parents. Maybe because. 
Shido saves Origami somehow in this timeline. That's why Origami is forever just like obsessed with Shido. Because that still hasn't really been explained yet. But we can kind of tie that in. We can retcon that by the same logic of future self going into the past. Therefore, everything kind of comes full cycle. I don't really understand how things work like that. But maybe? Maybe to Kurumi, this is, you know, te human test number two. She's not completely sure yet. Yeah, she's really helping us out, actually. How does this help you at the end? Proof. That if you alter the past, what can happen to the future? Will the gods allow it? Oh, usually the commentator, this this narrator talks in the, in the opening sequence, but there was no opening this time. What a plot twist. Dude, the mysterious figure was Origami herself. And I guess if you look back into the past, the past memories, you couldn't really see something that looked like Origami, but you did see like a ray of light descending from the heavens to shoot down. And because Origami wanted to protect her parents, prevent the killing from happening, that action is what happened. So how does that make sense? That means that this is destiny. No matter what, Origami would have always seeked out Kurumi's help to go back to the past. No matter what, she would have acquired Metatron and killed her parents. Because if you think about it, if Origami, hypothetically, let's say Origami never acquired the power. That means she would have never gone back to the past to solve this. That means Origami's parents would have never been killed by Origami. But would that still work? How does that work? So therefore, I'm saying that this is destiny, meaning this is always going to happen no matter what. Shows with altered timelines, time travel, things get so messy. It's so hard to keep track of, but I'm kind of understanding what's going on. Very interesting what's going to happen here because now I really thought that Kurumi would send, I don't know, Shido back 30 years ago. It's like, all right, bro, go make a date with the origin spirit or something. But no, no, no. It's still trial test number two. Go back to five years ago. Prevent the killing from happening? How would that work, actually? Does that mean we can save Origami's parents by preventing the attack from landing on their parents? And if we do that, then everything will be fine? Because we don't know why Origami is so obsessed with Shido. And in the beginning of season one, I thought, oh, it's just a random harm show. Ha ha ha. She's so obsessed with the main character. Why? Because it's the main character of a harm show. There's no reason to really look beyond that. But now... Things are making, this is a gigabrain shit going on. It's like time travel of him saving her in the past. So now she's forever indebted and she doesn't even know herself why. Because right now we still haven't really fixed the past. But I don't know. Shit's getting so messy. I hope someone that actually understands what's going on can explain to me in better terms. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.